have a good time Put a smile on your face, yeah Can't be caring Relation Radio mm-hmm. Even brighten your day And help you through the night Bring you good music Can't be caring Relation Radio And here's your host Will be a two day event May 20th and the 21st. On the 20th, special guest host Randy Weston, Keela Richardson, and Don Tonio with musical guests Shelby Five, Portia Love, Trayvon Perry, and DP, Ahmad Smith, and more. Wait, it doesn't stop there. On the 21st, special guest host Canton Jones. An R&B sensation tweet. Performances by. Molly Music, Jordan Armstrong, Miss Day, Janium, and more. Trailblazer Awards presented to 1K Few and Teddy P. Get your tickets now at Eventbrite. That's www.eventbrite.com. The Gospel Hip Hop Awards 2022. Tickets also available at Excel Church in Conyers, Georgia. The Gospel Hip Hop Awards 2022. It's about to be lit. Let's get it. Had a dream that she could do it, do it. And how she lost her way and didn't stick to it. She wanted the house, the cars, the money. She did all that she could. In her mind, she was so focused, so focused. doing overtime in the diner. Just wanted someone to wine and dine her. She didn't believe in herself. Nobody does Believe in yourself Believe in yourself Believe in yourself Even if nobody does Don't let nobody tell you that you can't when you can Don't let nobody tell you that you can when you can Don't let nobody tell you that you can't when you can that you can when you can Ooh. she was diagnosed with cancer going to the doctor for some answers they said she wouldn't make it she couldn't take it she did all that she could getting sick from the chemo bank account started looking real low she knew she could make it she wouldn't take it she believed in herself Believe in yourself, even if nobody does. Believe in yourself, believe in yourself, believe in yourself, even if nobody does. Don't let nobody tell you that you can't when you can.
everyone. This is the T. Spence Show with T. Spence and Kimmy Kim. This show is about transparency, truth, tribulations, and triumphs to empower and lift others through spirituality. We are all about changes because we learn to accept our rewards fully, receive our divine blessings. I know I am magical, and I move accordingly. I honor myself through for my courage and strength. Today, I will introduce Kimmy Kim. She is my co-host on this wonderful show on this evening. How are you doing tonight, Kimmy Kim? I'm good. Fish. How are you? I'm blessed. Thank you so much. I'm so glad that we could come together tonight through this show about sister about sisterhood and uplifting one another. Amen. And guess what? I invited another what? good friend of mine that you will love. Her name is Pastor Michelle Wright. And I am the honor one that you trust me with your gift. So I feel blessed. So this is for you. <laughs> You're amazing. <laughs> You got this, girl. You got this. It's a sisterhood thing. But, you know, we're going to have men, but what I like about you, you're so amazing. You really are. Well, I appreciate that. You know, it's about sisterhood. It's about uplifting one another, reach one, teach one, and helping one another evolve into getting to another plateau of life of where we want to be in this world because we are multifaceted. And so with that, you know, we need one another as women and having men in our life as well to be able to evolve and change. Absolutely. I agree. Because we can't we can't make it without our men. We need our men, but we gotta first, as you say, get whole first, right? <laughs> Yay. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. Well, okay, I believe with self love and confidence we will help manifest all our success and deserve and what we deserve and move towards our goals and dreams. I've been blessed, you've been blessed. To be both a career woman and entrepreneurs and have worked hard to build the courage and create and seek more through myself and for our family. Over the years, I've opened up my life and talent to the world. Success Mm -hmm. has come back to me again and again. But I also know how hard it can be to take those first steps towards building life and what you want. You might not. Come on know and research through goals you've you've suited for yourself but it's intimidating sometimes to achieve it's okay to be scared you just have to start because the thing is here we are capable of doing everything we desire there is room for us to be in our spaces and to change and evolve there's also a way forward for all of us to be successful with what it is our we put our minds to and finding strength and the power through our spiritual through our spirituality as you begin to move. If you think you can do it, you can do it. If you think you can't, you can't. So you have to move forward. Mm. Now Tink, you said that was very pro um you must that's one of the reasons why I play that song by Shay Sounds. I love that song Believe in Yourself because I'm telling you, there are people in this world that will tell you that you can't. But you first got to be the one to, to say that I can because if you can't, mm-hmm. then who's going to believe you? You just said something. You just gave, you gave us a nugget to chew on. I want to invite my <laughs> friend, Pastor Michelle Wright, because I'm telling you, you you just started something. So I'm going to unmute her and Pastor Michelle Wright. Uh, here's my good friend, um, my BF. Um, I got some UBF. I got you and Pastor uh, <laughs> Michelle Wright. You guys are amazing. So how you doing, Michelle Wright? How you doing? Well, you hello, hello. She's amazing. I'm so hello. glad to be in the house. Well, hello. How are you? I'm blessed. Thank you very much. It's, it's a pleasure meeting you. And listen, it's a pleasure meeting you all. I just want to first start by saying congratulations on your <laughs> new podcast and what you're doing. It's and so she got exciting. so many. I don't know what. Yes, 
she got another podcast, and she's like a pro on that as well. So I'm like, woo. Yeah. I hope I, hey, I hope yeah. I make it up to her, um, you know, her level. So. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Well, it's such an honor to be with you guys on tonight, and I've been listening and, and certainly agree wholehearted with both of you as to uh, what it is to be sisters and to be able to display that. Uh, we've seen sisterhood uh, across the board, and what a pleasure and a blessing it is to be able to be amongst like-minded people. But here's the thing. If someone's listening, and as you said, T, they haven't started a dream, they haven't started, there is still room, time, and hope for them to do it. So thank you for dropping that nugget. It was very powerful for so many uh, to get started on what God has blessed them to do with their gifts. Thank you for that on tonight. And Kimmy Kim, what can I say about someone who is known to push people forward? I remember when uh, we were talking in years of just being able to know the woman of God you are. I honor you for that and your talents, your skills, and your gifts. So I'm honored to be here with all of you on tonight. God bless you. Amen. Well, thank you now very I'm much. It's, 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 well, yeah, it's it's. I think it's good for us to come together and kind of pick one another's minds and pick our brains and you know be able to find a solution to a lot of the problems that are out there with um um individuals not being able to come come together as one. Like I don't, mm-hmm. I have grappled with that my whole life because you know not putting or running the bus over anybody, but I haven't really mm-hmm. always gotten along with women. I haven't always mm-hmm. had that sistership. I didn't grow up with sisters. And then as mm-hmm. I grew up as a young lady, I looked towards other women to help me find my way mm-hmm. through life. And I didn't get that type of stuff. So it's always mm-hmm. been something that I have grappled with and have really um, kind of, I don't want to say failed at, but haven't found a, a, a right mind and a right source of somebody and people that can be a good support system. But as I've gotten older, you know what I'm saying? It's like I pick different individuals that I know and that I've met and I pick different things from them that I implement into my life that have made them a blessing to me to make me a better person and a more evolved person. Evolved is my word. It's all about evolving and changing. Yes, I agree. I agree. And you said something else that is so important. There are times when we're born into a family, and being born into a family, you don't have a choice, right? But these are individuals who've got to stay in your life by blood. What an honor it is to choose people to be a part of your life and in your circle because then you have the liberty, the strength, and the peace to move forward as you grow and you can learn, like you said, from each other. So it is a difference when we're born in a family, we can be blessed with family members and things of that nature. Sometimes we can all get along as family. Sometimes we can't, but nonetheless, that's one entity of our life that does not change. But we all have choices, and making the choices to do what's healthy, uh, the the choices that will be of support, like you said, is a beautiful thing. And I thank God that each of us have that and pray that we all can share that with so many others that they will be strong, healthy, because everything begins in your mind. If you don't have a a heart uh, to be able to understand that everybody may not, as you have seen, may not be for you, but you can still live in this world and be all that you're called to be because God has gifted you with the ability of choice and support. So thank you for that, Nuggie. Yes, ma'am. Yes, wow, ma'am. I would like and to take it back it's, on that. It's, yeah, mm. please do. Because, Kim. because I didn't grow up with sisters myself. I had nothing but mm-hmm. guys around me. And so mm-hmm. I didn't know what that meant until I went to college and then I met T. And then I was like, you know, she's real cool. And so we, we became friends. But <laughs> I didn't know what it meant because I grew around grew up around men all my life. So I, I – 
I felt like a male because I had this hard shell and I did things like men. So, you know, I felt I feel bad on that too. But to make the long story short, as I grew over the years, I've been so blessed to have the opportunity to understand the true meaning of sisterhood. You may not like me today, but you'll love me tomorrow. You know, we have that those mm-hmm. times where, oh, girl, you got on my nerves, but you know, that that love that we mm-hmm. have for each other won't ever go away, and that's how you know you have a mm-hmm. two sisters when you can, you know, have disagreements, but you come back together. Mm-hmm. We're not perfect people, but you love me in spite of my imperfections. Mm-hmm. So that mm-hmm. that took me some time to to understand because you know how sometimes we say, "I want to be her friend," but what did she do? Oh, she she. Mm-hmm. she What's she do? Um, she may, you know, done something that you didn't like, but maybe she didn't know that you didn't like. But sometimes perceptions mm. can cause friendships to end before you understand what the problem is. So it's good to have a good communication level. So that's what I have learned about sisterhood, learning how to communicate more. Mm-hmm. I absolutely agree, but there there's a whole different view of things. When okay, let's we're gonna dig a little bit deeper. I know it's a little early, but we're gonna dig a little bit deeper because black women deal with <laughs> oh traumas God. of everyday life links to racism, sexism, and toxic stressors of society. So with so much burden, I find speaking life and positivity to ourselves is one thing we can do for ourselves in self-care. Because black women who are creators, artists, entrepreneurs deal with their own negative thoughts of incompetence, feelings, and we don't deserve to belong in places. And it's untrue notions of being like it's called an imposter syndrome. It's true to everybody and they may not know it and it happens in their life. So it's a, it's a different thing being a black woman and being in sisterhood. Mm, Wow. All I can say is amen on that one. I I agree. (laughs) Because they don't want us to become um, as one, they don't want us to unite. They want us to call us each other the B's and the H's. That's why I can't watch those shows, the reality shows, because mm-hmm. you know you're gonna be blessed. Michelle's gonna be blessed by God, and He will still have more room for other sisters because the world teaches us to fight one another, but God teaches us to love one another. So I'm I'm hanging with with the with the God because that's who I'm with. Because when I was out there in the world. It was never enough because people, places, and things, they say one thing and they mean something else. And so when you understand all imperfect, we we all have, we all have imperfections, it's beautiful because now you can say, you know what, I fall short too. I'm sure there are times I get on someone else's nerves too. So it's a beautiful thing when, like you say, um, T, when we can really overlook the racism and the sexism, but... Unfortunately, we still live in a world that loves to see women, you know, one another. Yeah, I I feel you on that one. And, you know, even Jesus said, you'll know a tree by the fruit it bears. And I think what happens is we all have to bear good fruit. And when we're bearing that fruit, that is what brings the, um, the attributes of trust, love, uh, in our fields, in our churches, in our communities, because when you don't see someone you can trust or someone you can um, feel is doing the right thing, it brings the vision. It brings, you know, when you see an overzealous person uh, that really doesn't care about the next person, it does something for the heart, the spirit, and the mind. So it's important for us when we're talking about sisterhood, being black, and that we display those things that other cultures and other people can see as general uh, what it means to be strong. Uh, when, when people talk about strong women, they always categorize black women as strong will, women. But we've had this history from our great-grandparents on up, not just through slavery, but that what does it mean to hold uh, family values, 
um, be able to, you know, our family members were entrepreneurs by right before we could even understand what entrepreneurs were. They always made something out of nothing, and they created things, and especially if we're talking about cooking, they took items and made dishes that are known today because of their abilities and strengths. So I think it's very important for us to bear good fruit that others will see who and what our culture is about by looking at us individually and collectively. Absolutely. I I completely agree because it's it's all about, you know, it's 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 what you feel, it's what you exude, it's what you present into the world. And being spiritually mm -hmm. and spiritually minded and spiritually guided, I know that, you know, the Lord has his hand on me. I'm a child of God. So what yeah. I am and what I put out there is what I want people to see. And I want my innards to match or match my outside. So I want mm -hmm. to be that positive spirit. I want to be that woman that glows. I want to be that woman that people come to and feel comfortable with talking to and being able to come confide in and being able to triumph through adversity and be able to give back to one another without asking for anything in return because a lot of people just they they give and then they want something in return I'm not that type of individual I like to be that sounding mm -hmm. board for people to come to because I didn't get that growing up myself mm -hmm. and T I'm and gonna be honest I've been knowing you for a very long time you are exactly like that. I mean, you're amazing. Mm -hmm. You listen. You you you're 100. Sister Michelle, you're the same way. You're real. You're 100. Mm -hmm. You guys don't sugarcoat anything, but you do it with a tactful response. You're not harsh with it, mm -hmm. but you're you know very honest. Mm -hmm. And you know sometimes people say they want honesty, but they don't. So we have to pray for them mm -hmm. as well because I prefer you to tell me mm -hmm. the truth than tell me a lie. You know, Kim, mm -hmm. you did this and that. Right. That's fine. Kim McKill, yes, well. hey, Kim McKill got issues too, so you got to let me know when I'm wrong, you know. My name is Kim mm -hmm. McKill, and I'm not perfect, but when you are able to have that type of relationship with people and they feel you, that's how it grows. It can grow based on lies and, you know, fakeness because that's the type of world that we're living in now. People say one thing, mm -hmm. and then they say another thing behind your back, but I can truly say, you two, I really feel comfortable mm -hmm. with you guys. But um, I really believe that when you love someone also, you want nothing but what's best for them. And you'll be honest mm -hmm. in, a, in, a, in a, you know, a very um, uh, manner way. You're not harsh with your words. You, you don't condemn them. You're showing them, okay, this is something that you do that may not be the standard for God, but let me show you what I did to overcome that. So I really believe that it's important that people understand that when you have that type of relationship with people, that means that, you know, you you know what it means to have, like, understanding, compassion, because we're going to learn from one another. So that would be my input on that. Awesome. Well, awesome. well I think women have traditionally been kept out of positions of power and influence, especially yes. black women. Amen. Let's just say women of color, you know, because I don't want to, yes, I don't want to, you know, minimize yes. other 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 women of color, but they've been kept out of things like that. But we're living in a new day now, and no longer accepting yes. that for an answer. We say, you know, you go, yes. girl, you do your thing. You are six. You are a successful woman. You can be capable of reaching your goals. Mm. Just keep going and don't ever give up that's what the meaning of life is that's what the meaning of sisterhood is that's the one that yeah. you know we're we're not like those old school women that are like crabs in a barrel where we're gr grabbing down one another to take their place to to be above them we're trying to help one another out that's what i use my platform for the t spence show yes. that i've had Kim yes. Kim on and that's what i'd like to give back to to um to women to black owned businesses just just to keep it all together so that we can unify because you know it's been falling mm. apart for so long i feel like we take one step forward and two steps back it's been hard mm. That is so true. That's that's 
That's awesome. I agree. We mm-hmm. we must continue on because um, I got so many different revelations, but I had a great uh, topic, what discussion with a person yesterday about the Black Wall Street and how, you know, when we, mm. did, when we do come together it, and it's because they don't want the unity. So the more unity that we have, the more destruction that will come our way. But we must be willing to stand like the one, the – the uh, people from Oklahoma, the we had Wellston mm-hmm. in St. Louis, Missouri used to be thriving. I mean, mm-hmm. Atlanta, Auburn. I mean, it's just that we. It's like we always have to rebuild because when we do come together, it gets destroyed. But we can still do it, and I know because I see it. I see it in so many different mm-hmm. angles, and I'm just proud to say that you know I really believe that we're heading. Um, in the right direction. So, see, mm-hmm. I'm telling you, this sisterhood is so amazing. And Michelle, I thank you for <laughs> the sisterhood. I love my sisters. I mm-hmm. love my sisters. Absolutely. I'm so glad and you brought my, Michelle yeah. on today. I so appreciate yeah. that. I'm glad that we have another like mind spirited person on on the platform. Yeah. So, thank you so much for coming on today, Michelle. Well, thank you. And I just wanted to say this to you all, too. When you were talking about the older women and the crap that uh, Bastion and Taylor, you know, that came from not being able to celebrate. We have an awesome, the difference between now and then, they couldn't celebrate one another. They didn't know how because it was already a rap race to get in position. And when you got in position, Mm -hmm. some people didn't understand how to use their authority. But aren't you glad that in this day and time, I have a joy to celebrate women, my black sisters that are doing powerful things because we need that. You never know. You mentioned something about that no matter what the role is and how powerful it is and in whatever industry you're in, it's always a great thing to have a sister to say, hey, you're doing a good job. You know, you just keep going because when you get that support behind you, it helps you to focus better that everybody isn't against you. You got what I'm saying? Because we've seen so much of that, that it's far and few between when you find a real sister. I'm talking about the type of sister that will never tell your business. I'm talking about that sister that will say, like, Kimmy, we can all discuss and see when something's wrong and hold it in our heart and know that they mean it from a good place. And then that Mm -hmm. sister that will help you to get where you have to go. If you have resources, I have resources, Kimmy has resources. We're not ashamed to share it because we understand it's for the overall betterment of people and our sisters. So I agree with you how it is so important to celebrate that it should become a part of our daily lives, whether it's on Clubhouse. Facebook, Instagram, to find that ability to use our voice to celebrate others so that they can be all that they can become. So thank you all for being who you are to be able to be that light and to do that as well because it makes all the difference. It keeps out that crap mentality because you Mm -hmm. know that you're on the same page and that you're moving in the same direction. Absolutely. Mm. Oh, my gosh. Thank you for giving the background on that because, you know, Mm -hmm. um, it definitely – definitely resonates and you know you you feel the power within it because people Mm -hmm. didn't know and they don't know and Mm -hmm. then they take it into this this generation now where we don't need it in this Mm -hmm. generation now because there's so Mm -hmm. much there's such a big pie out there that everybody can eat from it we don't need you know we don't need the you know the backbiting we don't need the you know clawing our way to the top because you know it's it's there and and you're worthy of it you deserve it you work hard for it so if a w- one woman sees that in another woman they should glorify them for it and not put them down yes, for sir. it absolutely mm. absolutely amen <laughs> this is what i'm talking about and T talk about T don't have nothing to say. See, you were preaching, girl. Yes, she is. Oh, I don't know. Yes, she is. You know what her uh, favorite line is? Teaching. Reach one, teach one. Mm, come on. Yes, she is. 
Come on, girl. That's right. That is my mm-hmm. line. Reach one, teach one. Yes. That's awesome. So, and it's important. This is what I like about tea time. Tea time is just about a general discussion, like a round table, and we just, you know, take in the one having some tea, the one opportunity, <laughs> having some tea, fellowshipping <laughs> with one another. And I'm loving it because it's showing us that women we can, you know, come together. And once again, this is just not a, a, um, a woman's platform. It's it's like, you know, we can have tea time with a man. And we can, you know, um, as they say, dig into their brain to see what they see, what women can do, and and they can share their testimony. So, T, tell us more about, like, what type of uh, topics will, will we be uh, talking about on uh, tea time? Because I just see so much go- coming out of this wonderful uh, fellowship be time because you and then we have so many other guests that could bring in their uh, testimonies and I just need something great from this tea time. I love tea. By the way, what's your favorite tea? Well, Michelle and <laughs> and tea. My favorite tea is green. You tea, go first, so. Michelle. You <laughs> go first, Michelle. What's your favorite tea? Well, you know what? Believe it or not, I can. Uh, I love. <laughs> Tea. Regular tea is fine for me, but here's the thing. I don't know what it is. When I drink cold tea, I usually put sugar, honey, something in it. But when I'm mm-hmm. relaxing and have regular tea, I just want it warm or hot with not to uh, really examine and taste every bit of that particular tea. So I don't really have a, a, a specific favorite one. Just give it to me hot and don't put any, no lemon, no sugar, nothing so that I can enjoy it. That's it for me. Hmm. Well, I don't think that I have – I like to try all different type of teas. I'm one of those taste testers. Mm-hmm. But I do mm-hmm. like, you know, I'm, I do like some sugar in my tea. So uh-huh. I like it to be uh-huh. sweet. <laughs> and um, and mm-hmm. I, love me some, I love me some sweet tea because when me and Kimmy Kim would go to the – we would just go to the Waffle House late at night. I would love their sweet tea. Yes. And they had the best the sweet club. tea ever. So I, I love yes. their cold sweet tea. So I am, di- I am down yes. for some sweet Sweet tea. Hot tea is good, yeah. and you know, it's for times, it's like mm-hmm. a bath time thing for me. Like, you know, if yeah. I'm lounging mm-hmm. and having a nice sudsy bath, will I have some hot tea with, of course, some sugar or mm-hmm. maybe a little honey in it, mm-hmm. you know? So um, mm-hmm. that, that's my that's my tea. What about you, Kimmy Cam? I love green tea. And you know, after the club, we would go to the Swaffle House. To be real. Mm-hmm. <laughs> sure did. <laughs> Go to the Waffle House and I enjoy their sweet tea. tea. <laughs> exactly. Yep. Exactly. I love green tea. Okay, tea, green tea I, is good. I'm, like I'm, not, I'm not mad at green yeah, tea. Like yeah, green tea. green tea is good. Yeah, it is. You know, green and tea is amazing. It's so fun. Well, I okay, so I think some of the subjects that we should have on um, uh, tea time is we should definitely always talk about spirituality, your spirituality within mm-hmm. and how it guides you through life and how it has grounded you. Um, I love talking about meditation and mental health. You know, it, it definitely is something that I think that covers a lot of different realms that we can talk about. Um, practicing communication with others and, um, you know, uh, workshops about women and people coming together to uplift one another. So I think that, you know, it's it's just about so many different things that we could talk about because there are so many different things going on in this world that we could just pick a topic. Just pick a topic, any topic, just any topic of the day. You know, it's just, like right it's now. Just, it's just oh kind of like this. Yes. Yeah, just like this right now. Like, you know, and the, the, the nuggets you keep talking about that we drop, we can piggyback off of those nuggets and then – put it into a all time all you know one hour show so i think that you know it's it's 
it's just us talking about men t- wanting to know about how we think and what they take from our communication because you know men are from Mars, women are from Venus. They always say so. It's it's uh, it would be great to have men on the show so that we can also you know get their vibe and see what they're talking about. I welcome all facets to the show. You know it doesn't it you know it's a pleasure you know connecting with women and you know and being one on one and knowing yes. what we got going on inside our heads because we think about so many things all the time our brains are like manic with it we go you know i i always say and men take this in the wrong way and i'm not trying to offend any men out there who might be listening is that we got like maybe seven to ten years on the men's you know mentality because we think about things Mm -hmm. constantly and we evolve in our minds and you know we think about things further along in the bigger picture where maybe they're not there yet we kind of got to help them get to where we are. That's not all men because some men are old souls. So I love to meet an old soul man that is, you know, uh, is on the same level as that I am. So it's just, it's just individuality. I think that we're going to have fun on this show and it'd be um, just an open dialect about trials, tribulations, triumphs, and transitions. So it's all about those four T's that I think that we'll be talking about. Amen. And can you tell the listener who is Sounds T? Good. Because yeah, who is T? Um, T is actually Tina Denise Spence. You know, I am a very loving, I'm a very spiritual person. I've been through a lot in my life and I've always dusted myself off and I've tried again. You know, I meditate a lot. I I pray a lot because I need guidance and there's nobody that can guide give me guidance but from, you know, him above and making me um of sound mind because some of the things that I have been through a lot of people don't get through in life. And um, I am a person that is very loving, and I love animals. I feel like I'm an empath, that I resonate more with animals sometimes than I do with people, because sometimes I feel like people don't get me. And, you know, and, you know, animals, they don't talk back, so they can't come back and say, oh, you did this, 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 this to me. They just, they just <laughs> love you unconditionally. So, you know, I'm, a, I'm an animal lover, and, you know, and I'm a creator, you know, and I love to improvise, and I love that, you know, honestly, Kimmy saw more in me for this show than I saw in me, because I didn't think I could do this. I didn't think that I could just come on a show and talk and just, you know, and have dialect like this and be able to um, have a, you know, a conversation that's an hour about, you know, maybe one specific topic that maybe branches off into other topics. She saw the bigger picture for me. So I love that, you know, I have found um, a sisterhood in her in which I will find other sisterhoods throughout her and I will connect with them that will make my my base stronger and my um my kinship stronger. So I appreciate that and I appreciate this platform that she's given me to be able to grow and like I said, yet again evolve and change and to be a better person. Oh my goodness. And you're doing you, a great job. Only- Exactly. Exactly. Because she you doesn't guys are know. Just blowing smoke. She gets... You guys are just filling time. No. You guys are just telling me no. that. No. <laughs> no. Honestly, I'm you're doing you. a great job. You really are. You really are. And you uh-huh. should know that Jimmy is a gift inspector. She will find the gift and push you, which is a blessing, <laughs> but you truly are doing a great job. I wouldn't tell you that if I didn't believe it. So I want to oh, let you know you. you're doing a phenomenal job. A phenomenal well, I job. And, and I have Michelle in Clubhouse. I have Michelle. Yes, I listen and to also, Michelle in Clubhouse, and I love yeah. listening to her, yeah. and I never wave my hand because I don't know what to mm-hmm. say. I don't know if I'm on that level with everybody. I don't know if oh, I, Lord, you know, oh, I, just, I just, I just, <laughs> I Here we go. Don't know. Again. You kind of, it, it's it's nerve wracking, and, and I get anxious. So I just sit there silently, and I take in the word from everybody. And I learn so much mm-hmm. from from um from the Friday night show, and I I tune in all the mm-hmm. time. So I appreciate the clubhouse, and I appreciate listening mm-hmm. to that platform. And I'm glad that you guys have created that. And you know what? Well, you got it. You're going to be. Um, I know, right? 
And I was telling Michelle mm-hmm. about you. I was like, um, she sent me a great, uh, you know, a great guest on your podcast, and she's open. Mm-hmm. But I'm, I'm telling you, T, yep. I, I've been there. I, you know how I first started with with Jerry Royce? You were right there. I, I had notes. And then Jerry, Jerry told Royce. me, Kim, mm-hmm. you're not going to need those notes in a few, um, in, in a few months. <laughs> you know, right. I got sticky the more you notes do this. in front of me. I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> and see how it comes to have where you have so much uh, to say. You you have a lot to say. You do. You do. I mean, I still have notes, but it's not like you know. When I first started out, I was reading off my notes, and then Jerry was like, "Kim, I could tell you're reading. Get rid of those notes." And I didn't listen to him. You gonna be fine. I'm telling you, it's like it's like a discussion. Like you know how you see like those um, women show like real talk and. Um, better today. They just, you know, go with the flow, mm-hmm. and it's like God That's will it. give you what to say. I don't, I don't depend on me. I ask God to give me the words, and you got this. Absolutely. So, I want Michelle on that one. Mm-hmm. And it's well, true. We have to the kindness. Oh, it's true. We wouldn't fill you up. We're going to tell you the truth as your sisters and empower you to do more because you have it in you. In fact, the best of you hasn't been seen yet, and the more you're doing this, the more you're going to find out more and more about you, and that is what makes it giving uh, to the audience and to those that listen to you. You are gifted. Each of us are gifted in the way God has blessed us to be, and so it would be selfish of us not to share it. So I want to just say, don't ever feel intimidated. Always, if God puts something in your heart, on your mind, and you're in a platform where you can say it, you may save someone's life on the words you say. So just make sure the next time you all go about, mm-hmm, and oh, I see you there, there. We, you know, mm-hmm. you know I yep. always keep tell you, I have inboxed her, and I said, hey, is there something you'd like to say? You know, uh-huh, 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 because there's no getting out of it. Because, again, you never know what your work may be to help someone mm. else. So, that's Come on, the thing Come on, you have to keep Michelle. in mind. It's not about us being intimidated, but whose life are you going to be able to change mm. with the comments that's you it. make? So, yeah, just like tonight, you're your changing story matters. lives. It's bigger than, your story matters. you know, you're yes. changing lives. And yes, and I'm thankful for that. Well, I'm mm-hmm. thankful for you, too. I'm thankful that you guys are, you know, gracing my platform with your presence and being able to guide me through, you know, this, you know, these first show jitters and all that. I, you know, and, and just trying to, just trying to, you know, just make this a a, a, a nice, a nice platform and to, just to speak your truth. Because at the end of the day, mm-hmm. it's all about our truth. It's, because you can only tell your mm-hmm, truth. Yeah. You can't tell anybody else's truth. It's about you. That's right. And what you have to give That's and true. and the footsteps you've walked in. You can't tell anybody else's because it would be a lie then. That's mm. right. You and just you got another nugget. <laughs> All right. And I want you to say from this day forward, please, I really want you to say I am that podcast host. You know, in, in, in the business world, and I heard you say you meditate, one of the things about affirmations is it helps us to understand who we really are. Mm-hmm. So yes. you are the podcast host. You are the needed person for what is needful mm-hmm. at that moment. And when we affirm that, not being haughty, you do know what I'm saying. I'm not saying it like we have to go around, hey, I am this. And I'm, no, we're right. saying that right. to ourselves and to those we serve, we understand our position so that as we yeah. affirm ourselves through the word of God for what he's told us, through his word, we will show that love, and that's what the world needs to see. You know, I believe Diana Ross was onto something when she said what the world needs now is love because it comes in so many it different ways. So, so, many different so ways. I want you so, to, want know, you to know, know, to know, yeah, yeah. to affirm, to affirm yourself. yourself. And, yourself. and I'm telling you, and you're going to see the difference. You're going to see the difference. 
You gonna have some books to write. Mm-hmm. You got so oh, many yeah. already. But that's one thing I like about T. That's one thing I like about uh, Pastor Michelle Wright. I mean, you guys are so meek and mild, beautiful inside and out, and you just, you know, share to people, and you don't expect anything in return. And that's why no. you would be blessed no. with ever because mm-hmm. God said He's gonna bless those who diligently seek after him because he wants yeah. people to see that yeah. it's not them, it's me and them. And mm-hmm. my sisters, mm-hmm. you guys are amazing. Mm-hmm. Likewise. This is so amazing. Likewise. This is so Absolutely. amazing. So with that being said, T, I am just honored to be your co-host. But I already know eventually you're going to be like, Kim, I got it. But uh <laughs> But no, no, don't try are. and get out of it. I'm not going <laughs> to say that. I like having somebody to banter with. You know, I like oh, having somebody to banter with. I like having somebody to talk to. Somebody to talk to. Oh, I'm here. But you you going to be like, you going to be, uh, I'm, I'm telling you, you just got this passion in you. And I love you. That's all I love about. I've been knowing T since 1996, I think, or five. Yeah, 1995. Yeah. We yeah. met at Morris yeah. Brown, and uh, oh, wow. I was like, oh, wow. "Yeah, 1995." We, that's how long we've been knowing each other. Because I think it was before the Olympics or after. Was it after the Olympics when you came to I think Atlanta, it was or was before, it before the Olympics? Before the Olympics. Okay, I know it was one of the two. I know you came one time, but then, no, it was after, because after the Olympics, um, that's when uh, Yolanda moved out, and he moved in. That's right. But, yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. And this long, she's been the same person. So I know that you love her, um, listeners. Uh, She has a beautiful heart. And uh, I can't wait to our first guest. Who is our first guest on next week? Are we going to have a topic? Um, I don't know who our first um, guest is going to be. I haven't gotten that far. I, I was just trying to get far. through this first show. I was just trying to get through this first show. You got this. <laughs> well, you got through it. It's like almost over. I mean, it's like so amazing. An hour goes by so fast here. So, <laughs> listeners, we're just having a good old time. And uh, we're going to definitely um, have some wonderful guests. Some wonderful topics. Um, I forgot. We forgot to read our mission statement. What is that? Um, I thought oh, that I we thought are about we are about changes. We are changes. we learn to mm-hmm. accept mm-hmm. our learn rewards accept and fully our receive and fully our divine blessings. Our divine I, know blessings. I know that I am magical. I know that you are magical. And we move accordingly. We move accordingly. I honor myself. I honor and my encouragement and, and encouragement and threat. Amen. I love it. And I, I'm telling you, I can't do nothing without him because without him, I don't have my being. And that's the purpose of this show is to inspire. And inspiration comes from God, you know. And one thing I have come to realize is that we all, you just said it earlier, we got to start from somewhere, right? Yeah. Right. So I just love this. Um, I love what you're doing. Um, I know also people can reach you on. She has another podcast, Michelle, talk about She's Shy. Um, she's on uh, another podcast <laughs> called Tap the Mic, and she's talking about She's Shy, whatever. Oh, Girl, you should see her. Right, mm-hmm. you should see, listen to her. I'm like, ooh. It's, I'm, a, it's I'm an in, interview I'm in, show where it's a platform where I interview artists, I interview authors, I interview um, um, our, um, entertainers, rappers, songwriters, singers, whoever really has are in the entertainment business. I interview them. Mm-hmm. So if they want to come on my show, then I am more than welcome to have them on there and people who even have a testimony that they want to tell. I mm-hmm. love picking people's brains. I love asking the questions and 
and finding out the things that nobody has asked them. I love to know that I mm-hmm. have made a change mm-hmm. for that one hour. And it's on tastamicradio.com. Um, I've been on mm-hmm. that um, platform for a while. I've done voiceover works for him. The guy is named Dorian J. He has helped me out. He's like my mm-hmm. Yoda of the podcasting. You know, he's helped me out with everything. <laughs> he hasn't asked for anything in return. He's been very, yeah. you know, he he gets on the computer. He's my producer. He he's just he's just wonderful, mm-hmm. well rounded, a really good guy. And so I have really enjoyed working with him. And he gave me a couple of time slots on um tapthemicradio.com. So I'm just taking it and running with it. And then Kimmy was like, Hey, come and on, you can, and I'm and, gonna give you a. <laughs> and you can interview yes. you, Pastor Michelle Wright on your podcast. You got another guest. So yes. what, what I'm I trying sure to say can. is, I, sure you can. Dare, I, will, I will put her on my list. Yeah. What I, what well, I'm, let I'm me say, say you what you do there, you can come here with it. Yeah. Yes. It's like, yes. just bring it. You already got it, girl. I don't know what you're talking about, but I'd love to be your co-host because what I like about her, she's so she's goofy like me, too. She's trying to be nice. <laughs> 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 I am goofy. I but am. I am. But we like to have a good time. But I mean, it's it's basically what you're going to be doing here. And what I like about mm-hmm. um, what you're doing, you love it. This is what you love to do. Yes. So with that being said, I would like to see if um, someone could pray us out, and then we're gonna end the show on a great note. And see you next week. And I think we should do a topic. So let's focus on the topic. And Michelle, you're welcome to come back on if you're free. And we'll invite more people. Yes, ma'am. I would, I would want, to, I want Pastor know, Michelle to pray us out. Okay, yes. no problem. I just wanted to say to you guys what a pleasure and a privilege it was to be with you on tonight. Thank you. And then not only that, to continue doing the great work you're doing. Kimmy, always the great work that you're doing. I want to say this, that you made a comment about the gentleman, and we're going to point out, you said that he did what he did without anything in return because it was God-ordained. Whenever God Mm -hmm. sees a gift, He will do what is necessary that that gift can be enlarged. So the reason your territory is being enlarged is because God trusts you. And that's what he does when he trusts us. He enlarges our territory. Let us pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you so much for this time, this tea time with T and with Kimmy. Father, what a blessing and a privilege it has been for us all to share our hearts, share our minds, be on one accord, and show that women can make a difference. I ask, oh God, that you will bless this podcast, bless T as she moves forward, bless Kimmy and the work that she's doing, and every listener that is listening in. Give them hope, give them strength, give them what they need through hearing this podcast. And, Lord, I pray that we will all find within ourselves the gifts that you've given us, that we will be able to do what is necessary to grow in areas, be pruned in areas, and make a difference in this world you've created. And for that, we say thank you. We ask that you forgive us all of our sins and we forgive others. And, Lord, we're praying that ears will be open to hear what you've given tea time to bring uh, to this world, to this audience, oh, God, and that you will be glorified and lifted up. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah.